All right, this is a door that I've already painted with this same technique, the roller and the brush. And look at how smooth it gets. You're gonna get a little bit of an orange peel, but this is the best you could get if you're not spraying. Welcome to another DIA with Raul video. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint a door. Now, the technique I use is, in my opinion, the best technique to get the flattest um, coverage. I've seen other videos where, you know, they paint doors really quick with a, a certain type of roller. And yes, if you're going for speed, this is not the technique you're going to want, want to use. But if you like that um, spray look where it's just really flat, there's not too much texture on it, um, this is how I do it. So it takes a little bit longer, but definitely worth it in my opinion at the end, especially if you want that spray finish look. Now I use a paintbrush, angled two and a half, um, and this roller. This foam roller is, in my opinion, the best one. I've tried a, a couple of them out there. Um, I forgot the name of this, but I will see if I could find a picture and the, the brand name. Now other ones look like it, but this one definitely gives that flat spray look. So this is how I do it. All right, first of all, I use, um, since I, I do a lot of painting, I have a five gallon bucket with a screen in it, and this is what I use. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna grab a little bit of paint. I usually just kind of wipe it on the sides. And then when I use the roller, I kind of load it up a little bit and then use it. But before you do that, this is what I do. This is what anybody, everybody should do. Scuff your door first. And I'll show up a, cl a close up of this. All right, the reason why you want to scuff it up is because usually you're painting with gloss or semi-gloss, especially for doors. Um, usually you get oils on your hands and you start, you know, rubbing around the edge of the door and if you try and paint over that it's just gonna not adhere so when you scuff it up if you could see you get little rough patches I even do the grooves um, and that way that the new paint has something to kind of grab onto so it doesn't just peel off or flake off it'll have a nice tight bond now once you're done scuffing it up wipe it down and I this is a, a closet door. This is what I do. First, turn it over. The reason why I turn it over is because I don't have to worry about the carpet. But a, even if you do, you can put something under. It gives it a little gap at the bottom. So you're not painting your carpet. All right, now that's flipped over. Load up your brush and I paint the grooves first. So I usually use long strokes, then I turn it to the side at an angle to kind of feather it out. Once I get both of them in, now usually I don't load uh, the roller yet. So I'm going to wipe off a little bit. Now that it's kind of wiped off, get inside but before I move on I'm going to show you hopefully you could see so I did inside but the outside has brush strokes I don't like brush brush strokes so what I do is once I finish the groove I kind of feather them out and hopefully you could see that because it's a thin coat of paint and it's gonna dry fairly quickly and if you don't feather it out, it's going to dry. You're going to see those, those brush strokes. Okay, so 
now that the inside is done, um, I'm going to paint the first or top half. This is where I load up, load up the roller. I usually do the inside. Get some of the paint off. Double back. Now, once I've covered it, kind of do a couple long strokes so it'll be even. If I were to pull it halfway and bring it back up, you're going to see a line in the middle where you stopped and then you went back up. So you make sure you got all full paint coverage and then just do a long stroke. And that's how I paint this. So I'm going to continue painting, show you how I do the entire door. Now sometimes at the end of the roller it's going to see a lot of buildup, and I usually just find a different area, wipe it off. Alright, now that the top half is done, I'm going to do the bottom half. So let me, let me lower you guys a little bit. So, same thing with, with the bottom side. Now since these uh, greens are longer, I usually have to load up the brush twice. Go back around. Now, keep in mind that this roller is going to load up with paint um, the more you use it. So occasionally you're going to have to kind of uh, take out some of the paint that's, that's accumulated. What I like to do is I'll press firmly and drag it across an unpainted surface so it pulls that paint out. Now it's ready to start doing grooves. Now I'm going to paint inside. And I'm going to start feathering this bottom half with the top half because every time you do a cross section here you're leaving a line right around here so then I have to kind of go back and feather the top so it looks all uniform and even. Now usually since the brush is not big enough for the panel I just pull it uh, two strokes uh, to make sure it's as even as possible because if you start doing too many you're going to see that kind of line. But if you use this technique, like I said, if you can't spray, this is the best way to make it look as if it was sprayed. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you, one more thing. You could actually do the same technique with door trims and baseboards. Same two rollers, or same roller, same paintbrush, load it up, Paint. Paint the whole side. Grab the brush. I like to do a pull technique. Pull. Pull technique. So just go to the length. Length of the trim, length of the door uh, baseboard. On the inside corner, can you see? In the inside corner. I usually paint the inside and then use a brush. Same technique, pull. So I'll kind of jam it into the corner to get as close as possible and then pull. And that'll give you the same result. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.